I, I wanted to be a doctor because to me, I thought being a doctor was like to be a magician. That's really what I thought it was because I suffered from asthma as a child. And, um, and my mom would take me to the hospital and they would give me these medications. Well, now I know they're doing this, but like back then I, I, you know, I didn't know what they were giving me. They were just giving me stuff and I would feel better. Uh, you know, my God, I would see this tall guy with this, like this long white coat, you know what I mean? And his stethoscope was like this long, you know? It's, uh, it's like, whoa, this guy looks like a magician. I want to be a magician when I grow up, you know? And, you know, eventually later on, as I'm growing up, I'm realizing, oh, you know, they're not, they're not magicians, they're healthcare workers. Our main priority is to make sure that there's a patent or open airway. So we assist with intubation. So we manage the ventilator. We suction the patient. We change different modes and different settings on the ventilator to help get the patient better. And then eventually, hopefully, we take the breathing tube out. So the Global Medical Brigade is a student-led nonprofit organization that partner with uh, partnered communities in rural areas, and they work alongside local staff and doctors to provide access to healthcare to patients who have really no access or have never seen a doctor before. And so I wanted to be that change. I'm working actually in a supportive care department, so like palliative care. Um, and we you know we see patients every different type of cancer. I work on a med -onc floor, so med -onc and surgical oncology. So we see solid tumors. So you know we see everything. I've rotated through you know quite a few specialties, which I which I really enjoy doing. Because and that's really how the scrub company got started because I wasn't making my own scrubs from the first day. I was saying, hmm, I really wish I had a place for my stethoscope because. I was getting a rash around my neck and I didn't want to wear it around my neck. I was changing that. And then I was like, hmm, it would be really nice if there was a credit card holder or an ID holder because every time I pull my phone out, my credit cards go flying. It was a like transition period into what it is today. We have curated the foundation together and it's called Tapitas por Quimio in Spanish, which translates to bottle caps for chemotherapies. We take those plastic bottle tops and we sell them to recycling companies and the money that we get for those plastic bottle caps, we give them to other foundations such as St. Jude's or kids to get help in any way that they need it. Why am I going to this in the first place? The only real reason you can go is because you care. It's a lot of hard nights. It's going to be sad moments in a hospital. Maybe someone doesn't make it or you have to get bad news. But I think about all the good moments that are going to be there too. When I help somebody or I can say, you got to go home or the results came back and yeah, it's nothing to worry about, it's been fine. And so that kind of defines the reason of why it's so important to be in healthcare for me. For neonatal intensive care unit. So basically what I do is any, I mean, any type of a baby can end up in the NICU, not necessarily a premature infant. That's one common misconception is it's just automatically premature baby. Most baby I've actually taken care of is a 22 week infant, which is significantly premature. And she is alive and well today. She's my primary baby in the NICU. I took care of her for seven months and now she's my goddaughter. She was even less than a pound. So we can go as small as that to I've taken care of 12 pound babies, you know? So it's just very big spectrum. <laughs> So floating doctors, you know, they're a nonprofit. We work in Boca del Toro as well. The floating doctor's role there is uh, healthcare de delivery um, to really underserved indigenous uh, rural communities. So, so rural and they're so um, cut off from modern amenities that they have no access to healthcare. We bring healthcare to them and we go to a different community every single week uh, and we take a boat, hence the floating doctors. Um, and that's when I started the Thumper Project. If you have seen the movie Bambi, the little bunny in the movie, his name is Thumper. And that was kind of the, the inspiration because his dad always said, if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. I go to different schools, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, um, and different events. And I just talk about the importance of just being kind to one another. 
there's going to be negative people. There's going to be people that are going to try to discourage you that will tell you it's too difficult. It's not a route for you. You're too this, you're too that. You're not enough of something to be what you want to be. And I would say completely block all that out. Whatever you want to do, you can make that into a business. But consistency is the price that you have to pay. Never lose hope and don't be so hard on yourself.